What's going on guys, I am with the Moose and today we're going to be going over halfbacks on cheap cuts. Today should be a great episode for you guys and of course we're going to have three categories as we always do. First up speed, then power, and then combo of course. Speed, you're looking for guys with very fast uh, you know, speed rating, acceleration, agility, all that kind of stuff. For power we're looking at trucking, carrying, things like that. And then for combo I'm looking at you know a mix of speed, a mix of trucking. You know, it's somebody that's able to do both, somebody that's really going to be great, especially on third down for you guys. So we're going to be doing all that, and then at the very end, as always, we'll do a super budget option for you guys that are working on a real big budget, or a real low, low budget is what I should say. And uh, overall, we're going to have, you know, uh, two categories for each one, of course, 5,000 coins as, a, you know, a lower option. Um, and then somebody under 25k for somebody that wants to spend up a little bit, but still wants to save some coins over the crazy guys like Walter Payton, Eric Dickerson, guys like that. So let's hop right into it with running backs. Let's see who we can find for you guys. First up, we're going to look at speed. Now, first up in the speed tier is a guy that you all should have in your binder, regardless of whether or not you bought him or not, and that is Dree Archer from the Steelers, of course. You got him from the first game of the first journey. You probably got him, you know, day one that you got the game. Um, and right now, he's going for about 5K on Xbox One, and even his most feared version going for about 20K. But, um, of course, it's kind of high. I wouldn't really recommend spending 5,000 coins on this card, but you should have him in your binder, so he should be free. Um, if you do have to buy him, I do say he's probably worth about 5k, I'm not going to lie. Let's take a look at his stats real fast. 96 speed is absurd, 92 agility, 95 excel, and then 94 juke move, along with 87 elusiveness. All very good stats, and then 96 speed is just deadly on toss plays and things like that. So this Dre Archer, while he is kind of expensive for a silver card, you should have him for free in your binder unless you quick sold him. And if you did quick sell him and you still want him, 5k is not a terrible price to pay for a pretty darn fast card. So Dre Archer is the first one in speed. Let's take a look at the second one. Next up in the speed category is going to be this 84 overall uh, CJ Spiller Team of the Week version. Going for about 10k on Xbox One, there's one up for 9.9 .9, and then it goes to 12 and so on. So really not too expensive, pretty much um, you know, in the bottom half of the uh, the little bracket uh, for the prices I have. So CJ Spiller a little bit slower than Dre Archer, but he just has better stats all around. So he has 94 speed, 96 agility is even better than Dre Archer, 94 excel. So all his speed stats are very solid. 85 carrying is also pretty darn good, a lot better than Dre Archer. 86 ball carry vision, very important stat that's often overlooked. That's going to be how easy a running back is going to be able to get through the line of scrimmage when they first, you know, kind of hit the hole. It's going to be easier if they have a high ball carry vision, and CJ Spiller has a pretty good one. Also has 94 juke and 91 elusiveness. Those stats are also better than Dre Archer. So overall, this card definitely is a better option than Dre Archer. He's just a little bit slower. Overall, though, still a very fast card, and still I highly recommend this card. It is very, very good. Now moving on to power, and like I said, we're going to be looking for trucking and carrying. That's pretty much the two major stats in this one. Everything else is kind of auxiliary to those two. These players, I really would just want to pound up the middle, get three, four yards every run. That's who I want on these players. So first up, under 5,000 coins and well under 5K is this Chris Ivory going for about 1 to 2K on Xbox One. You could possibly go up to this Team of the Week version going for around 8K, but it is a little bit above the price range, but still a great option. Definitely recommend that card as well. But let's take a look at the base version going for like 1,000 coins. He has 86 speed, so kind of slow, but that's still not awful. That's still better than a couple guys uh, that are even better. Like Marshawn Lynch only has 85 speed, so he even has better speed than him. Uh, 77 agility, pretty bad. But 89 excel, not too bad. That's really kind of high for a guy with that low of a speed, so not terrible. 97 carrying, like I said, that's what we're looking for. And then 96 trucking, so this dude is always going to fall forward. He is never going to have a problem with that. Also, 83 ball carry vision, not too bad of a stat. Very, very solid for Chris Ivory. Definitely like this card a lot. And like I said, you could easily go up to this Team of the Week version, but it just is a little bit expensive and out of the you know under 5K price range. So if you uh, you know want to stay below that 5K, the 78 overall base version works out just as fine. Now for under 25K, you can get a great card from the Denver Broncos. CJ Anderson going for around 13 and a half, maybe 14K. Team of the Week version 86 overall. Um, elite player so he's got 87 speed a little bit faster than ivory still pretty similar though but his agility and acceleration are a lot better 92 agility 92 excel those are actually pretty darn good stats and will make up for his speed being you know on the relatively lower side also has 96 carry 95 truck a little bit less of a bruiser than ivory but still going to be able to you know fall forward on a lot of plays 90 ball carry vision even better 88 elusiveness and 87 juke move very good card great all around the board but also really does fit well into the power back dynamic given that he is a little bit slow decided to put him here instead of the combo back but still a very good card and for only 13 14k not bad at all 
First up under combo backs, of course under 5,000 coins this time, we're looking at this Jeremy Langford football outsider from the Chicago Bears. Very solid card, going for about 3k on Xbox One. Probably not going to be much more on other consoles, given that football outsiders are generally less expensive than, you know, Team of the Weeks and guys like that. So, 82 overall, don't let the overall fool you though. 94 speed, that's exactly the speed that CJ Spiller had when we looked at the speed tier. Now, the thing that makes him not completely a speed back is that 87 agility. Uh, 93 excel is actually very good, but 87 agility kind of low. Um, wish that was a little bit higher, but overall still going to be solid for you. 91 carries, pretty good. 89 trucking is more than good enough to, you know, truck a few different guys. Um, and 85 ball carries are pretty darn good as well. And also 81 juke move, not too bad. So overall, this card is just generally a good combo back. And for 3,000 coins, you can't really argue with it. I think it's a great uh, option for, you know, maybe a third down back. Maybe you have somebody better. Uh, you have one of the uh, guys that I listed under 25k as your main feature back, and then for third down, maybe you put out this Jeremy Langford, and you really don't sacrifice much quality, but you save a lot of coins instead of buying somebody else that's also around 25k. You get this Jeremy Langford and save a ton, and still get a lot of quality production on the field. Now for under 25k, I got this Thomas Rawls, Team of the Week version from the Seattle Seahawks. He's an 85 overall, going for about 15k, maybe a, a little bit on, over under 20k. Uh, overall should be below that budget of 25,000 coins for the most part though great solid option 93 speed actually pretty darn fast 88 agility 92 excel all very good stats for those speed statistics 89 carry wish that was a little bit higher but overall not bad at all 88 ball carry vision very solid 78 elusiveness don't really expect him to be too elusive but that's not a horrible rating he'll still be able to get away from people 93 truck that's very solid and then 91 juke move so pretty much every stat except for really elusiveness is actually in the upper tier of uh you know good running backs i'm not saying he's the best running back of all time or anything like that but overall he can compete with a lot of different running backs and rawls is actually a very good option uh, another guy that you could put at third down or you could use him as your feature running back either one this thomas rawls can probably do it all for you and he's a great option under 25k for our combo running back Finally in the super budget here, we're going to go with this Latavius Murray going for a little bit under 2k on Xbox One. Probably is going to be around that on most consoles. It's not a complete budget guy, but overall I was looking for a super low guy guy like you know, under 500 coins. And there's not that many great options, so I just went with this Latavius Murray around 2,000 coins. A very good option for you if you want a pretty good combo running back. That's also very, very cheap. So 92 speed, 86 agility, 94 excel, very good. 93 carry is very good. 84 truck is not too bad. And 82 juke move, also not a bad stat. His ball carry vision and elusiveness are kind of low for me, but overall not a bad item. You're only gonna be paying 1,000, maybe 1,500 coins for this guy. This is a guy that you maybe wanna make your third running back just in case somebody gets hurt. And then he can come in. You pretty much spend no coins on him. Not gonna touch the field very often, but is a very cheap option and is gonna do well if he gets on the field. So. That will do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And as always, leave me suggestions on what you want uh, in the next episode of Cheap Cuts. Of course, it's going to be defense this time. We just did uh, offense in this episode, of course. So check down in the description below also for the old videos that I did. Um, I've done QB, wide receiver, corners, middle linebacker. I believe those are, those are the ones I did. So check down there uh, for those. And also leave me some recommendations on what you want for the defensive Cheap Cuts in uh, the next video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.